Unbelievable. The workspace is not there. Yo, Ab Saxon with Guy in a Cube. And in this video, I am so. Ooh, this is a good one. We are going to look at how do we block classic workspaces from getting created in the tenant, including from Microsoft Teams. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, that moment we have all been waiting for, the ability to block classic workspaces from being created in the Power BI tenant. Ooh, ah, it's so great. All right, so there was a blog post that came out from Wukash Pawlowski where he highlighted this ability and that it's a tenant setting now available. So your Power BI admin can go in and turn this on and poof, Classic workspace creation is done. There are a couple caveats and items for this that you need to be aware of. So let's walk through this and figure out how it works. So enough of all this talking, let's head over to my machine and let's do this. All right, I'm in Power BI. And one thing I wanna call out here is if we go to workspaces, I created two or I created three new teams in Microsoft Teams. And what this does is it ends up creating classic workspaces in your tenant. This is one of the big things I've heard from a lot of people that they want to stop, right? They want to be able to block this from uh, actual creation inside of Power BI because it just creates all these workspaces that people don't use. So how do we do this? So the new tenant setting is available and I'm gonna go to the gear icon. Let's head over to the admin portal. We'll go to tenant settings. And you're going to see a new item here called block classic workspace creation. By default, it's disabled for the entire organization. So they can go in, the admin can go in and we can go ahead and enable this. This is just a tenant wide setting. There's no per user creation for this. This will stop classic workspace creation. One thing to be aware of this, this will not remove existing classic workspaces. So if you actually have like production classic workspaces that you haven't upgraded to the new experience yet, this they will still be there. So you can be safe about that. Don't actually uh, worry about them going away. They will, all, your data is not gonna be deleted. All right, all right, so let's go ahead and hit apply. It says it could take up to 15 minutes for this to actually take place. Let's go ahead and back to home. All right, so we waited a few minutes. It was definitely not 15. I'd be surprised if it was over one minute. And let's go ahead and expand workspaces and, <gasps> Look at that new team one and new team two are gone wow now you may be sitting there going well what about new team three why is that still there and new team three is still here because someone actually went into new team three which marked it as active which means it's not going to go away from the list so any classic workspaces that were actually used remember i said this will not delete or remove classic workspaces that have been used so that's something that you need to worry about. So I know that new team three, it's not really being used as an actual workspace. Even if we go in here, there's nothing in here. So I can safely get rid of this. Now, what I can do is go ahead and what you don't want to do is just delete the classic workspace outright because that'll delete the underlying Office 365 modern group. But what I can do is go to edit this workspace. I can first upgrade this to the new experience. And then once it's the new experience, then I can delete this workspace safely. And the underlying Office 365 modern group and the Microsoft team are still in place. So that's great. And then if we go back and look, it's not there. So now the moment of truth. Let's create a new team. So I'm going to create a new team. I'm going to go create it. And now, <gasps> unbelievable, the workspace is not there. I created it in Teams. There's no workspace in Power BI. Yes, that is amazing. And if you think this is maybe smoke and mirrors, let's go ahead and refresh it again. Workspaces, no new Team 4. It did not create the classic workspace in Power BI. This is amazing. So we can create, folks can create teams in Microsoft Teams now. If that tenant setting is blocked, that will not create a classic workspace. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So this is now something we can use inside of Power BI. We can block 
classic workspace creation. This will automatically hide any classic workspaces that have not been touched. If you've been having those teams get created in your organization, it's creating those classic workspaces and they've just been sitting there, they will just automatically disappear. If someone actually went into that workspace, it will still be in the list. So you'll have to go upgrade that to the new V2 workspace and then you can safely delete that workspace. Make sure you do that upgrade first. Otherwise, the team and any underlying data could be gone. All right, I wanna hand this over to you. What do you think? This this just amazing and bananas? This is great. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.